if you want to be successful selling on Amazon, the Profit Bandit app is almost a must. It is probably more important than any other thing I've done when I started my FBA business. So let's get into the uh, Profit Bandit app. Profit Bandit, the, the requirements. Uh, you're going to need a professional seller account with Amazon. It costs $39.99 a month. You're going to need a smartphone, either an iOS or a Droid device. And you're going to need an internet signal when you go into the stores to utilize this app because it pulls up real-time stats. Also, the app costs, I think, $14.99. Why is this so important? Because what this does is it utilizes the camera on your phone to scan barcodes. And so by scanning the barcodes, Profit Bandit is going to tell you what is currently selling, what that product, what that product is currently selling for on Amazon. So if you find a product at the store that's selling for $8, you can see if that's going to be a profitable purchase or not. Amazon's going to tell you what the lowest price is currently selling on Amazon. So you may find that it's selling for $8 on Amazon, which would be a horrible purchase. Or you may find that it's selling for $22 on Amazon, which in that case would be a great purchase. It's going to let you know how popular an item is. So it's going to give you a sales rank depending on the category. So you may find a product that's selling in the 2000s, or you may find a product that's selling in the millions, depending on that, that product's category. And you're going to know whether it's going to be a fast selling item or kind of a slower. And Profit Bandit is also going to take into account the fees that you pay to Amazon. So what they'll do is they'll do a quick calculation based on how much you're paying for the item minus any fees and it'll tell you the profit. So you're going to know if that's going to be a good product to buy or not. So what you want to do is you want to get on your phone and go look for Profit Bandit. And it's going to look like this. It's going to say Profit Bandit by Seller Engine Software. It's $14.99 and you can just click and download that app. Now I want to get into how the app works on your phone. So let's go over a few of the most important parts of Profit Bandit. Up in the left-hand corner, you're going to see a button that says scan. So when you find a product and you find the barcode, click scan, and it's going to take you to your camera. And you're just going to place your phone until it lines up with the barcode. And then Amazon will read that number. And if the product's in stock, it's going to show you what the ranking is for that particular product. So you can see here, I scan Starbucks House Blend Coffee. The current rank in groceries is 10,006. You can see that really easy right there. The list price is 3467. There's 21 people selling this right now. Only two of those are FBA sellers. So you can see it's selling for $32.90 as the lowest. So what I did here is I could buy buy these. It's a pack of three. I could buy three of them for $13.95. You can see that right there at the bottom. And you can also see that my margin is 46.83%. So that's a no-brainer. I know this item is going to sell quickly, and I know I'm going to make a decent amount of money off of it. So I'm going to spend $14, and I'm probably going to make about $6.50. I'll take that any day of the week. Most people are ecstatic when they get 10% returns in the stock market over an entire year. And I'm going to make 46% off of coffee in about three minutes. Now, when you, when you get your app, you're going to want to go into the settings, which you can find down at the bottom. And you just want to make sure yours kind of looks similar to mine. You can see uh, I have it set as the U.S., uh, you go down to profit display type. I like to see the margin percentage, but you can also have it come up as net profit. Uh, I like the scan button on the left. It's all up to you. And this middle section here, FBA, you want to make sure you have, you're an FBA seller. And you want to make sure the sell price is based on FBA. Uh, there's also MFN, which is merchant fulfilled, but that means you're going to, Basically, be selling things like you would on eBay. Once someone buys it, you're going to ship it. And then for inbound shipping rate, that's the amount 
per pound you're going to pay to ship your products. I put in 90 cents. I just like to be high. It usually doesn't cost that much. But if you put in 90 cents, it's better to be safe than sorry. And then below that, you're going to have alerts. And I always like to have everything accounted for. So profit calculation, I put sales tax of 5%. And then I want them to have uh, FBA about shipping, FBA storage, postage rate, variable closing fee. And if I did do an MFN, MFN shipping credit, I want them to show me the shipping credit. So it sort of shows you how my settings are set up. Now this is a real life example of a product that I buy for Amazon. Um, it's the MindFlex dual game. I bought them for $12.90. Uh, rank is 7276 And I actually sold them for a little less than what they're going for now. And it was one of my first products, made some mistakes, but I profited over $500 from 26 of these. So it was a good learning experience. So as you can see here, the margin, if I were to buy these now for $12.90, would be $207.67. So it's a no-brainer. I would buy these all day. But I want to show you the next page here too. So if you look at the bottom right and you click on the margin, if you tap that, it's going to take you to this screen on your phone. It's going to walk you through all of the fees that you'd pay to Amazon. So you take the sell price, which is $60, and so that's a credit. Then you subtract all those other fees. So you have a $4 pick and pack fee, a dollar FBA order handling, $2.90 for small oversize, $1.80 inbound shipping, uh, $0.23 cents for storage fee, $8.89. That's the 15% commission that Amazon's charging to sell the product, $0.75 cents VCF. And then it's also going to deduct the $12.90 that I used to buy the product. So you can see the total profit there is $26.79. Not bad for spending $12.90 on each item. And you have to also remember, I could have sold these on eBay probably for a little bit more, but my time invested would have been so much higher. I literally, all I did is bought these at the store. I was at the mall with my family. I saw a toy store going out of business. I scanned a bunch of items. I found this one. There were 26 of them. I bought them all, took them home, shipped them to Amazon, and just sort of made money while I was playing with my kids. Now, things to consider when you're using the Profit Bandit app. You got to make sure you understand when you're competing against Amazon. Amazon's one of the biggest retailers in the world, and they sell their own products too. So they have deals with food companies and toy companies. And when you're selling against Amazon, you're not going to win. So make sure if you find a product on sale that you're not competing against Amazon because that takes a while. Uh, be aware of bundles and multi-packs. Sometimes you're going to scan an item, especially food, and you're going to see that it doesn't that it's not going to cost you that much and it's selling for a higher price. So back to my Starbucks example, if you scanned it, you would have saw that it cost $7 and something or $6 and something. And it's selling for 30 some dollars. You would have thought, wow, what a huge profit. But the problem is you're actually selling three of those Starbucks bags. So you have to be aware of what you're selling and what is on Amazon. Uh, I would take a look at camelcamelcamel.com. It's a website that shows you the, the past history of how much the item sold for. Great little website. And also check out FBA Toolkit. It will show you all kinds of different numeric, all kinds of different numbers on things that are selling on Amazon. And it'll tell you, you know, how many of these items are expected to sell each day. It's a great little, great little uh, tool and I would check that out.